Today, I'm rebuilding West Ham. They're currently sitting ninth in the Premier League table, but they haven't won a game in the Premier League since the 28th of December, which was at the Emirates against Arsenal. We're going to be trying to make them the best team in the world, win the Champions League with them. You know how a rebuild goes by this point. As you can see, we've got 80 million to spend, so I think we can make some good signings. Right then, first signing through the door, a striker. I feel like West Ham need a striker. Danny Ings obviously isn't what he once was. Mikel Antonio isn't as good as he once was. Obviously, he's injured as well. Jonathan David will be joining the club, wearing the number nine, being our starting striker for the rest of the rebuild, hopefully, if he doesn't get injured. I feel like he's been linked to a move for the Premier League for the past three years now, so it's finally happened in this save. He's joined the club for 40 million. Our next signing is Austrian defender Kevin Danzo coming in from Lens, who play in Ligue 1. I feel like our defence needed a bit of strengthening, so he's joining the club, wearing the number six. He's only 24 years old as well, so hopefully we've got a lot of years left in him. Also, Mikel Antonio, Angelo Ogbonna and Oliver Scholes have all left the club. Antonio and Ogbonna, we didn't need any more. They're getting on a bit. They weren't going to start in this team and they weren't going to be at the club for much longer. And Scholes, we got an offer for, so we just accepted it. This is how our team is looking. I think it's looking very strong for our first season. We could definitely push for a Europa League finish. OK, then we are at the end of the season and we did get that Europa League spot. We finished in sixth place, just beyond Newcastle by four points. Not far off fourth place either. It's a very successful season in the Premier League. And we won the cup, which is huge. We beat Man United, and you'll never guess it, we won the Europa League. We beat Dortmund in the final, so we are playing Champions League football next season. That is absolutely huge for the club. Jonathan David getting 45 goals and an 11 assists is crazy. He also finished joint second top goal scorer in the league with Ollie Watkins on 22 goals. We've had a very successful season in our first year as West Ham manager, finishing sixth, winning the Carabao Cup and the Europa League. Season two, can it be better? We'll have to see. Okay, so we are in season two and we definitely need some upgrades to our squad if we want to survive in the Champions League. And I think I know where we need to improve. We've sold a lot of players in this window. Aguard going to Chelsea, Ben Rama to Forest, Zuma to Man United, Kufal to Palace and Kera to Newcastle United, giving us a good budget to sign some players. Our first signing of season two is a left back to replace Emerson. He's getting on a bit now. He's 79 rated. He's not going to grow. And if he's coming up against the likes of Mbappe, Dembele, whoever... In the Champions League, he's not going to survive. So we've brought in Parisi from Fiorentina. Another Italian replacing our Italian left-back. He's young, he's got good potential. That's just what we need right now. He comes in for 45 million. Signing number two of second season. James Ward-Prowse, he's quite low. Well, he's not low-rated, but I just feel like we needed a better midfielder. Angel Gomez has joined the club from Lille. He used to play for Man United, he used to be a career mode gem. And you know what? I haven't used him for a while, so I thought it would be interesting to use him. When He's not going to be starting every game. Obviously, him and Ward Prowse will be swapping. Ward Prowse is still able to play the top level of football. But Angel Gomez joins the club from Lille for £25 million, And I think that's quite a good deal. And our third and final signing of season two is a right back from Bayern Munich. Sasha Bowie, the Frenchman coming in to replace Kufau. Obviously, I let him go to Crystal Palace because he was quite old as well. 78 rated. I don't think he was going to cut it in the Champions League. And obviously, us wanting to qualify for the Champions League next season as well. Getting top four. We need quality in our team. So, Sasha Bowie joined us from Bayern Munich for 68 million. It's quite a big, it's quite a big spend. So that is how our team is looking for season two. It's looking very strong with our new signings, Parisi, Bobby and Gomez. Let's see where we finish at the end of the season. It is the end of the season and we've done it once again. We've qualified for Champions League football, but we've actually finished in the top four this time, which is huge. 65 points. I mean, Liverpool and Man City ran away with it, really. No one else was going to challenge that title spot. But it's good that we've got top four. We're also in the FA Cup final against Arsenal, which is huge. And would you look at that, we're in the Champions League final against PSG. We could complete the rebuild in our first season. But first, we've got the FA Cup final. We're going to go ahead and play the highlights against Arsenal at Wembley Stadium. Arsenal on the attack here, party into Martin Odegaard. Odegaard into Jesus. Jesus scores! What the hell? I swear to God, highlights is so broken. It's made it 2-2 and we've gone to penalties. Jonathan David stepping up, scores to make it 1-0. Ramsdale was never saving that Saka. The star boy sends Ariola the wrong way, puts into the bottom corner. James Ward Prowse now stepping up. Can Ward Prowse score? What a penalty that is. Ramsdale was never getting to it, even dive the right way. Gabby Jesus steps up. Big save from Ariola. Come on. Jared Bowen now. Oh, he's missed. You're joking. Declan Rice, the former West Ham man, scores to make it 2 2. Come on, we need to score. Who's stepping up? Captain. El Capitano, Thomas Suchek. Oh, he's missed. He's put it straight down the middle. 
Martinelli steps up and he scores to make it 3 2. We've got to score this to stay in it. Who is it? The Angel. Angel Gomez. He steps up. He scores. Come on. It's down to Ariola. He needs to save it. Who's taking it for Arsenal? Martin Odegaard. El Capitano. Oh, man. We dived too early. Arsenal have won the FA Cup. Oh, I can't believe it. I thought we were going to win that when we went 2 1 up in the penalty shootout. I'm not watching these celebrate that trophy. We may have lost the FA Cup final, but we've still got the Champions League final to play. And it's not against an easy opponent, Paris Saint Germain. They've still got Mbappe in this save. So we'll see what happens. Vitinha now on the ball for PSG. Into Fabian. Fabian gets a shot off. Oh, we've gone 1 0 down, nine minutes in. Fabian Ruiz has scored a very nice goal for PSG against us. Poor defending. We didn't get out to him. Usman Dembele now skips past Kevin Danzo. Usman Dembele on his left foot scores to make it 2 0. This guy's insane. We used him in the Dortmund rebuild and he was just very good. He scored against us to make it 2 0. Not even 20 minutes in. This could be a long night. Bouncing around Paqueta into David. He's onside. David on the spin. What a goal that is from Jonathan David to make it 2 1. Go and grab the ball, son. I thought he was offside, but what a finish that was. Alvarez into Lucas Paqueta. To Jared Bowen. Packett has got space. He's gone past Brazilian teammate Marquinhos. Lucas Paqueta threw a goal. He scores to make it 2 2. We've made the comeback in the Champions League final. What a goal from Lucas Paqueta doing the Mikel Antonio celebration. You love to see it. We've got it away here. And Jared Bowen's picked up the ball. He skipped past Mukiele. Oh my God. This could be a recreation of his goal against Fiorentina in the uh, Conference League final. Jared Bowen gets on the inside. Finesse. Why has he done it with his left foot? Use your right, for God's sake. PSG with a free kick. Simmons gives it short. Big tackle from Suchek. Get it away. Xavi Simmons into Kangin. Into Kola Mouani. Kola Mouani. Jesus Christ. What a save from Ariola. PSG with a corner now. We get it away. Only as far as you got. Eh? Into Ratinha. Xavi Simmons with the shot. Oh, no. 88 minutes in and we've just conceded. Xavi Simmons... Might have just won it for PSG. 3-2 on the night. And there it is. We lost the Champions League trophy. We're doing another season, I guess. Or it could be another few seasons. We came back as well, man. We just needed to... We need to close them down quicker on the edge of the box. I guess the only good thing is, is that we finished fourth. And we won the Carabao Cup. We've got Champions League next season. We even won the Super Cup, so we technically won a treble. But we lost the FA Cup and the Champions League. That's so annoying. I guess it's time for season three. Oh, it's season three and the border back in us. 225 mil to spend. Let me cook. First signing in the door. I know we did sign Angel Gomez last season, but we don't. We only have one backup centre mid. Angel Gomez will move to a backup with War Prowls. We've got a new starter midfielder. Felix Demetra from Borussia Dortmund joins the club. We used him in the Dortmund save. He was class. We're bringing him into West Ham. Hopefully we can win the Champions League this season. Wearing the number eight. Hopefully this guy's a beast for us. There he is with the manager. Love it. Signing number two. Feel like we need to strengthen our defence. His rating, I thought, was higher. So he could be a backup. I mean, we have got we can rotate a lot at the back now. We've got quite a lot of players. Mark Gerhi joins us. The former Crystal Palace man. He was actually at Villarreal in this save. He joins us from Villarreal. Hopefully strengthening our back line. But he's 81 rated. Suchek is higher than him. And we did sign... Bar Rooney Bardi, is that you say his name? He was at Manchester City in this. I think he plays for Copenhagen in real life. And Chaby from Frankfurt. The only reason I signed Rooney Bardi is for an objective because EA were going to sat me for not signing a player under 20 years old. And Bardi, I did want to bring in as a backup. So that's why I've done it. And our team is looking very solid now. I mean, even the bench is looking solid. We've got Youth Academy staff on Tanner on the bench, Bardi, Mavropanos, Ward Prowse, Chaby. Gomez and Thomas Suchek. It's looking very solid. I mean, look at that lineup. Look at that front four. Beautiful. So let's go to the end of the season and see how we've done. We've made it once again. We've got to the Champions League final, this time against Manchester City, against an English club who we have beat in this league before. We can do it again. But in the league, we had a big decline. We finished the seventh. Not the best, but if we win the Champions League, we don't mind. After beating United two seasons in a row in the Carabao Cup final, they got their revenge. They beat us in the FA Cup final and we didn't even make it to the Carabao Cup final this year. Right then, West Ham versus Man City, Champions League final at Old Trafford. They ain't got far to go, have they? Well, neither do we, to be fair. We need to win it. Can we do it in three seasons? Let's hope we can. Come on. Bowie on the ball. Jonathan David picks it up. 
in midfield into Lucas Packer. Packer into Felix Nemecha on the turn. Nemecha scores to make it 1 0 to West Ham. Nine minutes into the game. Come on, that is huge. Paqueta on the ball now. What can the Brazilian do? Cuts back inside into Jarabo. Jaraboan. That's a good tackle by Rodri, that to be fair. Robertson. What is he doing playing for Man City? He wins it though. Haaland picks it up in the box, shoots, gets blocked. Daku into Haaland, touch. Finish. Ah, oh, that is a good goal by Erling Haaland, to be fair. 1 1. But what is Andy Robertson doing playing for Man City? Jesus Christ, Yao Cancelo. Calm down, mate. Alvarez on the ball into Lucas Packer. Finds Mohamed Kudus. Kudus gets the shot off. Easy for Edison, that to be fair. Jarrod Bowen. Parisi with the overlap. What a ball that is. Gets past Cancelo. Parisi, he's got... Oh, why has David stopped the run? We're going to have to go alone. Oh, that was so close. The Metro on the ball. 90 minutes in. Into Lucas Packer. Can we find a goal? Jonathan David. Oh, he was nearly through then. He got tackled. Looks like we're going to extra time. Mate, if Jonathan David got through then, I'm guaranteeing you, that would have been a goal. Extra time now, Bowen on the ball, into David. David's found Paqueta. Paqueta driving through. Can he score? Lucas Paqueta. He beats Edison and scores to make it 2-1. That's two Champions League finals he scored in now. 98 minutes in. We've still got the second half of extra time to play. But Lucas Paqueta has put us ahead. That is huge. De Bruyne into Jack Grealish. Last minute of the game now. Gives it to Richarlison. He's got tackled, surely. It's over. We've done it. We've completed the West Ham rebuild in three seasons. And you know what? We've built a pretty good squad, to be fair. And we've kept a lot of the players who were there at the start of the season. Ariola, Suchek, um, who else? Warprowls. Who else? Mar um, Martinez. Bowen. Uh, how am I forgetting these names? Kudus, Paqueta. All of them players, especially Kudus and Paqueta, their growth has been insane. What a team we've built. We failed in Season 2 to win the Champions League. We've come back in Season 3 and done it. And you know what? While we're lifting the trophy, I want to say something. I've got a second channel where I'm going to be posting Ultimate Team content because, honestly, I want to do this as a job. I want to double my chances of doing this as my job when I'm older. Like, I'm doing career mode now on this channel. It's going well. I don't want to ruin it by posting Ultimate Team. So I'm going to be posting Ultimate Team on that. Mostly it's going to be stream highlights. I'm going to start streaming quite a lot because I've got quite a lot of time off from college. I'm off two days a week, obviously the weekends as well. So, yeah, that's what we're going to be doing. The link is in my bio on my channel. I'm going to put it in the description of this video now. But I'm just going to let you go and sit back, watch the title celebrations. And, yeah, I'll see you in the next rebuild.